much left in the menu. I'm gonna hand out some drinks. Like sure, that. no problem. Welcome back my gorgeous doll friends. I am so happy you're here. It's time to get into another week of toy and doll hunting. And if you enjoy these videos, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. It would make my heart pitter patter. But we first start with the LOL present surprise. They have a whole display up. And in my true clumsy nature, I dropped a ball here. And then they also had the fashion show exhibit, <laughs> exhibit display. The My Lifes were finally making their way into the real world where people can see them. Not too much new in Barbie, but I think I look back a little bit later. Right now am I on a mission? You can tell I'm on a mission because I need to see if we have costume ball or even monster high at that point, but I'll take costume ball. And there is one single Miss Demi Batista left. So I'm gonna check to see if she's okay. What a world we have to check and make sure our doll's paint is okay. But nevertheless, we do. And she was decent enough and gorgeous and I loved her. So she was coming home with me. Cause I mean, look at her. She's even more stunning in person. I just have to fix her bang up and your girl loves a DIY project. So she's coming home with me and I loved her so much. Okay. And I'm trying to like not freak out here. So let me cut to the part where I actually just get to look at her. <laughs> okay, nothing new in those dolls. We're looking at the box for the Shadow High costume ball. Obviously, I probably would have loved also Eliza and Lola, but this is great because we're saving money today. And I love all of the accessories she comes with, like a cape. What a moment. Should I cut my bangs into diagonal bangs this year for Halloween? Because they're gorgeous. I love how spidery she looks. And then I found this really, really sad looking cat mischief. Like at first, I'm like, oh my God, the new Masquerade Twins, but look at her sad bangs. Like someone was doing her dirty and did not want her to shine the way she should be shining. So like, I look at her several times. I'm like, okay, let me try to find another. Let me find another. I really like her, but the bangs were too much. And plus Max Wonder would be an amazing find as well. She wasn't so much, so we put her back. We found some of the Stitch Plus plushies, a lot of the Care Bear stuff we've been seeing. They maxed out on the Care Bear ordering. I don't know what they were planning on doing with all the space, but they, I mean, why don't they max out on Shadow, or yeah, Shadow High costume ball, but Monster High? Why are we not maxing out on that? Because I'd love to like get at least the chance to buy a Twirly in person, you know? And so we see on the end cap some more of the new Series 2 OMG reproductions. But most importantly, we see finally my store got the, t the teens, the junior high, rainbow high. But they only got a Maya, which was odd. But nevertheless, I mean, I'm happy about that. And it was nice to see a roller chick back in the wild again. All of these are really cool. Alt girl, you know, I think I have them all, but... You see them like in reproduction this soon already after they've been released look at her lips those looked so good and then they also had this like makeup display by wet and wild which is really cute and halloweeny and also the hems pumpkin spice vanilla chai and peppermint swirl hair masks don't sleep on those they might be expensive but they smell so so good so now here you find ourselves in the clearance section Nothing too new, but they did get more Barbie extras. They only had a few of those cute pink girls before on clearance. And nothing too much else. I saw a lone Gabby cat up there. Some Encanto toys. Selena Kyle got moved to ultra clearance because no one wanted her. RuPaul is hiding behind the pole. We got more activity kits. All the stuff you can imagine. And they still had the... Um, Rainbow High lunchboxes, as well as the LOL OMG lunchboxes. I thought those were so cute. They're like metallic glittery as well too, which was amazing. They had water bombs. They had infinity frames. What didn't they have? I love that. So does that mean you can just put a picture on one end and the other end? Because that would be amazing. And more Paw Patrol baby alive surprise i did not know they had those and then what is this what is she like a, a peach tea or a pumpkin she's a peach right that's so cute am i gonna get her no i, I mean i have more than enough of my squishmallows and then the cute little pizza making kit like really neat toys for this holiday if you're looking for something to buy for a little one 
same um, activity sets. They did have the Mega Lab and also the stitches. Had to zoom in on the plush collector set. By the way, I tried the Apple Crisp Macchiato. I don't know. I feel like it's like cilantro. Either you love it or you hate it and it tastes like soap. For me, unfortunately, it tasted like soap and candles. Like, it was not a vibe. It was not, like, it tastes like fall, but it doesn't taste good. And then more adorables. Just kidding. Rainbow High Mini Accessory Studio. All the fun stuff. We've grown accustomed to seeing week by week with my toy hunts. Nothing new. Just the Demi Batiste stuff. So, at least, hopefully, I'm thinking maybe in the future they'll be able to, like, fully stock everything. And maybe it's just my Walmart not getting them. But the mermaids were on rollback, which is exciting. I need them to, like, double up on clearance because I want at least one, but your girl has no extra money. So, there's that. So, Barbie. So much pretty plastic pink colors. Love my Barbie extras. I need them in my life. But again, not clearanced yet. But the hair, hair, hair. Not hair, hair, hair. The totally hair. Girls are looking cute. Kind of near the top shelf. No new, new items. I mean, they do have like, yeah, color reveal activity sets. I, th I think that was new. Unless it's just always been there. No new surprise Chelsea's or, you know cutie reveal surprises so we're gonna pop on over to halloween city just getting spirit halloween and they had nothing new for monster high but they did have this really cute um powerpuff girls backpack 50 dollars though i'm like what am i paying for the vinyl and then they had the nails too which are great lots of fun finds here nothing crazy impressive like the decals would be cute too but i think those are for like four or five dollars and then the Sanderson Witch Notebook, I really liked. I almost got that one. Different Beetlejuice plushies, different Coraline mugs, and uh, trick-or-treat mugs, Halloween, like everything. If you have a spirit Halloween year and you have not been, what are you doing? It's so cute. Like, don't wait until now to go. But if you are going to wait, wait until November 1st and 2nd, because that's when everything, I think, starts with 50% off, and then the next day it's 75% off, so... I'm just saying, and I don't think it applies to, like, neighbor and stuff like Funko Pops, but maybe it does. I have no clue. But if you want some kitschy stuff for next year, this is your place. Like, look at the little book of evil things. All of these books would be so cute. Like, I'm sure they're no books, but they look like real books to so just, like, lay them out on your, um, you know, table and just have them be of a Halloween vibe. I ended up picking up some surprise bags I wanted to get, like the Killer Clowns one. They only had a few left. And then after that, I went on to Ross to see what kind of like leftover home decor they have. Anything on clearance. Nothing too impressive yet. But I did want to meander and make sure I didn't find anything. Because I, I realized I was a little lacking on Halloween decorations this year. So this witch's broom was okay. It was like still 20-something. There was a lone pumpkin on the floor. I kind of wanted the metallic black sparkly wreath that was still like 30 bucks so i ended up picking up just like a black sparkly glitter soap dispenser that one was almost gonna come home with me the one that said boo they're all like no more than five bucks so like you just pick out whichever one matches your aesthetic and boom you already have a spooky sink so yeah i get this sparkly pumpkin one and then i think about getting like a uh, white one but then I noticed that they have this really cool, like, metallic skull one, kind of like a light pastel-ish light pink one. I always thought that was really cute. I almost got the skull, but my parents would freak out if they saw that. They are not skull people. They're not skull -lectors like me. And so, like, I'm spending a good quality time on these soaps. Like, I thought they were so cute and cool. So the white one ends up coming with me ignoring the fry down there at the topper of that one was amazing um they had some like thanksgiving things fall and halloween clearance this little cutie came home with me the succulent all of that that i just showed came home with me this barbie extra i already have but i wanted to see the price she was 18 dollars they had like pumpkin tea on the checkout like definitely make sure to check out your checkout area i got this candy gummies bullicious gummy blend my husband will be happy about that and then they also had these little candy th dispenser things, like almost coin holders. I thought they were so cute. Eyeballs, 
more Halloween candy, gourmet pastries, cookies, all of this. And then they found the Hello Pandas. I got those, which is so, so, so freaking exciting. Oh, and this giant skeleton man. I love that he has like a pedestal he's literally holding. Thought it'd be so cute to put like LOL surprise girls in there. So I picked him up. This snow globe was almost speaking my name, but nope. Nope, and definitely not the spooky chicken. And then they ended up having some Christmas decor out. I love the antlers with the tea lights as an option to put down there. They had different gift sets, four pack of these ornaments. So cute. A little bed for a cat. I got this shirt. How could I not? Um, nothing much else, as you can see here. I'm just kind of like waiting to wait in line. Oh my god, those boxers of Yoda were so cute. And I'm like, oh, it's a little late to be getting any kind of like comfy pajamas with shorts but they didn't have any halloween stuff and even then that's probably getting too late but they did have this really pretty nighty i might wait for those things to go on clearance and then with the dogs how fun i think outfits for your dogs oh my god i don't know what ellie is gonna be this year i have a little doggy and um we're doing a group costume oh, oh my god look at the lol surprise all of this stuff I like flew by I think I was going for like a TikTok situation but I ended up not doing that but anyway our head group costume this year is going to be um the mystery machine crew so we're all going to be from spooky or spooky do scooby do Freudian slip right there and your girl's going to be Velma because of the glasses and I'm so excited so yeah I was trying to see what kind of uh stuff they had for Halloween over here and they had this makeup palette the haunted shadows makeup palette how fun I just thought the artwork alone on that was great. Okay, here's where I find my pumpkin shy hand soap. I get that one instead of the... But yeah, I don't know if I'll fully be ready for like Christmas, Thanksgiving stuff until we're done with Halloween, as with how everyone feels. But you might have to get in now while the picking's good to get the good de decorations if you don't have as many as you think you do is the only issue. Anyways, here's my haul. Um, amongst the Halloween things I just showed, I definitely... Did not do a final haul video of that, but I did get Demi Batista, and I'm so excited to unbox her. But thanks so much for watching again this week, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.